There's a Nissan 4x4. There's a starter right up here. I've disconnected the positive wire on it. That's just a solenoid. Starter is that big fat thing behind it. And you got this big old oil pan in the way. You can't just move the oil pan. You got this big old freaking axle here. Huge axle going all the way across and there's the front end. Okay, and we got the engine mount right up here. I'm taking the nuts off of the engine mount, which were extremely loose. I just took them off with my fingers, which is kind of odd. And then, as far as the wiring, well, there's one there. So that's the one I slid off. Slide my phone way up there to see where that other wire is. How is it connected? Where is it connected? Hopefully this video helps you if you have a Nissan Frontier, a 2000 Nissan Frontier, and it is a 4x4, and you're trying to take your starter out. I'm always looking for the better way. So right now, I'm draining this line because it's a stiff line, and it's right there. See above the transmission? That line right there. Right there. Okay, so I'm draining it, and that's the uh, transmission cooling line. Goes all the way across here, through the front axle. There's the front axle, goes into the front, comes right up here to this. Now I'm hoping I don't have to take these out, you know, and then there's like this little, well, it's not really a box, it's a mount that goes on the oil pan. So that holds it stiff. Right here, I just swiveled it around so that these lines will be kind of free right here. Now, I got the starter disconnected up here. So if you look, right there's the starter. If you're coming around the back side of the starter, these are the bolts you want to take out. Okay, so right here, and I've been trying everything I can to get those out, but these lines are in the way. So, I came over here and I looked. Right here's the axle. That, of course, is gonna be in the way, see? See, it's, you just know there's not any room right in here. So, I took the two engine mount nuts off of the bolts. If I could, here they are, right there. Just took the nuts off. I got a four by four block of wood. I'm gonna lift the oil pan from this side, where the bolt is just right in here and hopefully it tilts it up high enough that this starter will fall right on out of here because I couldn't lift it with the lines in the way but now that the lines disconnected the line will stay where it's at while the motor moves up so then I'll be able to slide that sucker right out of there and that's what I'm going to do right now so if this works oh yeah will you look at that as I lifted the motor, the line stayed there, and I was. This is the super sweet spot here. See, I've got the solenoid over here on this side. There is a bolt right here, but I was able to pull it out, and I can just push this way. And look at this, fucking sweet spot. Do you see that? Look at that. Kevin found a sweet spot. Mobile car doctor will if there's a way. I didn't have to take the axle out or do anything major. And I didn't have to lift the engine more than an inch and a half. That was it. Look at that. Now we can slide that new starter in. Anyhow, I hope this gives you a shortcut too. And by the way, if you put the ramps up and you set your e-brake over there, it's going to be a lot safer for you into figuring this out so anyway this did work I'm very happy let me look on top look at that it didn't even make a difference up here didn't crush anything everything looks normal fan didn't hit fan didn't hit the radiator shroud look ah so remember inch and a half 
I would uh, go two inches maximum. I wouldn't, we don't know what's back there, you know. So anyway, 2000 Nissan Frontier. Uh, looks like a crew cab, it's four doors. Four by four. Starter removal. Anyway, I know you're gonna have a super sweet day. You won't have to pay 800 bucks to have that done now. You can do it yourself. Uh, 14 millimeters. Okay, I had uh, 12 millimeters, 110 millimeter, and then also had an 8 millimeter, and there's an 8 millimeter for the battery as well. So I pretty much just had a random bunch of little tools out here, and that short one was pretty sweet to use too, so you're going to need that. And you're going to have to have the wrenches to reach up there and just start turning uh, the starter nut that's on there. I mean the nut that actually holds the power wire on there. All right, man. Well, have a good day. Hell yeah. Thumbs up. Subscribe.